Everybody, welcome to St. Louis. James Sabalski here for EA Sports. Well, it nearly took a half a century to hoist the cup here in St. Louis, but they certainly have established a winning way now. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Blues win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Letty's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Oh, that's a tough way to start a game. I get it. The adrenaline's flowing, and sometimes you're just a little too over-aggressive. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Battle along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Neighbors. How did he stop that one? The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Gets it out of his own end. And a successful clearing attempt. The Leafs have possession shorthanded. On their heels, trying to clear. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Moves it to Thomas. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Neighbors. Centering pass! And he ups to backtrack here on the play. Neighbors moving it ahead. And that pass attempt is deflected. Moves it over to Neighbors. And he slides it quickly to Bushnevich. Chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Blues have been handed two minutes for hooking. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. The Leafs will... Oh, out the play! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Dismiss that chance. Moving into the attacking zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle stops the play. In this game, you're always trying to buy time for your teammates, but sometimes if you hold on a little bit too long, you're going to get the interference call. Matthews wants to give his team the edge on this power play here. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get the squad a good look. The Blues start with the puck in their own end. Puck clear from the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Bertuzzi's got the puck. Tremendous save by Hofer. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Crew. St. Louis jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. Well, they're going to have to reset after taking that penalty. Just focus and find a way to create some momentum and urgency on this four-on-three. Taken by Letty. Big time save and goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Domi's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Toronto's got the win off that draw. Slides it on over to Matthews. Great poke check on the reach. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And another stop. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Picked up along the boards by Domi. 
Toronto's power play comes up empty, picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway! Who denies him on the play? Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Marner's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Centering feed! Oh, and he keeps it here. Here's a short pass to Marner. The Blues have it now. St. Louis goes to work on the power play with their man stepping out of the box. Samsonov's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Buchnevich is looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Leafs are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. St. Louis will go to work on the five on three, but briefly. A short five on three, James. You've got to win this face off. Possession is key. If it goes 200 feet the other way, you've just killed your opportunity. Well, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Three penalties in one period. You've got to stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. The Leafs send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, a frustrating situation, no doubt, going to the four on three, but a huge opportunity still approaches them. They have to find a way to capitalize and execute on this one. Power play has expired. So that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the ice, and that is right in front of the tender. Puck grab by Buchnevich. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Hayes. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Drives it to the crease. Answered the call there. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. More than half the period left to play. The game is still scoreless. St. Louis has taken possession off the draw on their own end. Quick pass to Krug. Toronto's got the puck. Dishes it to Domi. Toronto's got a brief window on the power play with the penalty expired. Made the stop on that play. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides it up to Thomas. He's got a stop! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop! Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Matthews is known for that shock and awe zone ability, which is when he uses a quick shot to score after he deeks himself into a scoring position. Thomas is a star player that can generate great A chances. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. The Blues take it along the wall. The Leafs have it from their own end. Matthews moves it into the attacking end. And now it's grabbed by Thomas. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Gets a piece of it and will play on. From one point man to another. Nice poke check. Moves it quickly over to Bushnevich. Takes the feed. Moves it to Bushnevich. Oh, just a great heads up play by McCabe. Poked away in the neutral zone by Matthews. Letty's stick handling in his own zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Quick shot. And that's turned aside by Sensonov. Toronto's looking to break out. They've got numbers. Great save by Hooper. 
And it's a quick pass to Tavares. Wrists one. It's in the back of the net. He scores. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Leafs strike first here in the opening frame. A relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So it's a nice way to start the game. And he takes the feed. Looking to set up offensively. Such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. The Blues have it against the wall. The Leafs pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Samsonov's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet. Scores! It's in the back of the net! Oh, that's fast. Two quick goals in a minute 20. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Toronto's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. St. Louis has possession of it now. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Oh, my goodness, what a move! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. the midway mark of the frame. Toronto's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Puck scooped up by Krug. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Shen. Quick feed to Kapanen. And he takes the dish. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Directs it on over to Domi. Jostles the puck loose. Works it across to Neighbors. Slides it over to Krug. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And he hangs on to the puck. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Matthews plays it into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hofer. Looks like lineups are set. And they're ready to get things back underway. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Letty. Takes it across the blue line. Slick feed. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Grabbed along the board by Martin. Big stop right there. Does it again with the stop. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. 50, 50. Marner's third eye zone ability is all about his passing skills. He can dish pucks and complete passes that are really difficult to make, guys. He's creative, deceptive, and skilled, and that's really what makes him the playmaker that his teammates just love to play with. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Letty. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck over. Picked up along the wall by Nylander. Slides the pass over to Walker. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Sends the pass over. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. And it's kicked away. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate. Tremendous stop by Samsonov. Left 
late goings of this period. Toronto's got a 2-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shot! Denies him again! In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Blues have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. St. Louis wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Blues win the faceoff at center. Here they come up along the wing. And they keep the pressure on. Big time save. Oh my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Fires it. And that doesn't reach the net. St. Louis is across the line and in the offensive zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Here's a short pass to Kempf. Gains the zone along the right wall. The Blues gain possession. Gregor's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Into the corner of the attacking area. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Moves it up. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Delay penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. Let's see what the officials say. Well, this is a huge timely penalty kill, James. Late in the frame, close game. You gotta get to work, put your work boots on, and you gotta kill this part of the penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. And that's knocked away by Nylander. And that's deflected off someone in front. Pucks it away in his own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Wide. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Tavares has it in their own end. Nylander's got it in the defensive end. Toronto's got it along the wall. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. Kapanen's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Fires it on net. Left save by the goalie. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Domi's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Leafs will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that's knocked away. Solid hit on that play. Quick pass to Robertson. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Reaches out and uses the stick. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Moves it on over to Hayes. Hayes. 
There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Automobile-related pollution is on the increase worldwide. Do your part and take public transit to and from the game. Welcome back, everybody. James Stavowski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Takes a shot. And he shuts the door again. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And that goes off course off a body. Came up with the save on that play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. From the right side, takes the pass. And down he goes as the puck goes free. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. And the puck is scooped up here into the open ice by Nylander. Shot makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Here they come on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And the puck's knocked loose. Receives the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. Makes the save with the glove. Too much traffic in the lane. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. And a solid save there as we play on. They are really dialed in here tonight. The Blues played along the boards. Hammers one from the point. Flashes the leather. What a save by Samsonov. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Across the line along the left wall. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Steps inside. St. Louis has the puck in the corner. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Here we go, pucks in deep. Kessel's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Moves it quickly over to Hayes. St. Louis has it against the half wall. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. St. Louis on the attack. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Camps recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Leafs win the draw here in their own end. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this was my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time, and you knew when that puck was on your stick. You had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you can contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Toronto's got it in their own zone. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Slides the puck over to Neighbors. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves the puck. And that's off a stick. 
Krug's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Here comes the call. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Face off with a five on three power play, but not much time to work with. A short five on three here, James. That you know that they're going to crash the net. They've got to get it on their stick, off their stick, and they've got to crowd the front. Moves it to Hayes. Right in the slot. Stones him in front. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Marner's side still short handed here as they slide in for the face off. St. Louis wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time he bails his team out. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And that slides right out to center ice. Gregor is out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. Center and key! And that's stopped! And that carries off a body in the lane! Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he easily stops that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Quick feed to Sundqvist. To the low slot! by Samsonov. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Read that perfectly with the poke check. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Denies him! The Leafs in transition at center. Excellent stick work on the play. Here's a short pass to Saad. Tavares' penalty is about to expire. Big time stop. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Tavares. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Sundqvist. Toronto's got it behind the net. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. The Blues have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Musa quickly over to Crew. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Picked off by Lilgren. And that's blocked in traffic. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Leafs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Toronto's got the win off that draw. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. And he loses control here. Here's a pass to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Pareko's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a chance to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Another chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Domi's got it. Now they'll look to see what they... Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. Uh, not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Power play execution is all about retrieval and owning the puck. If you don't possess it, you can't score. But it comes right off of the faceoff. And how often do you work on these set plays where you're trying to get the look that you want and then you convert? Beautiful play all the way around. 
The Leafs have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. The Blues take possession of the neutral zone. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Moves it to Lilgren. Look out, here they come on the attack. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Scrum ensues along the boards. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Launches him into the boards. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. St. Louis plays it up ahead. With possession along the wall. Sends the pass down low. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it on net and makes the save. Blaze lugging the puck. Gains the zone through center. And that's a smart heads up play by Giordano. From off the wall and onto a stick. The Leafs play it along the wing. Passes it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Quick feed to Matthews. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Puck picked up by Letty. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Feeds it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Leafs look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace, and they're dictating the play all over the ice, and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they hold the lead. Toronto's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And some textbook body contact there. Great forecheck by Nylander. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Matthews is so effective. I mean, he is a pure goal scorer, and he has been extra dangerous tonight. Just get the puck to him. Why? He's got two goals in the game, and he's looking for his third. Love saved made by Sam Sodoff. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you've got to be fast, you've got to be quick and show those reflexes, he does that and makes the save. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he lowers the boom there. Quick pass across to Kairou. And that's picked off by Nylander. Here's a chance! Easily turned away by the glove. Samsonov's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Blues have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances. Just no finish, and they trail here in period two. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Slides it quickly to Krieger. On the attack along the boards. Scores! Four in! What a shot! What an incredible shot, and that quick release just fools the goalie high. That's a beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. The Leafs are playing what might be their most impressive performance that I've seen all season, and we're only in period number two, Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, their offense has simply exploded, hasn't it, James? I mean, they have been a force to be reckoned with, and it's a ton of fun when you're patting your stats. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the paint pass. Quick shot! Oh, what a save in front! Hofer is aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. 
Takes the pass from the left wing. There's an injection of energy with that hit. And he handles the cross ice pass. Corrado's got the puck along the wall. Single stop by Hofer. The Blues are in transition. Drives to the crease. And he's peeling off to regroup. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Samsonov. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Sunfist won the draw, and they're on the attack. Shuts him down. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Pass it up ahead. Quick pass to Riley. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. They put the puck into the offensive end. Musa quickly over to Letty. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Letty. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Letty's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Slides the puck across to Shen. Moves it to Scandella. Broken out by Brody. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Shen's the leader of this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You got to look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. What a steal in his own end. Sometimes when you're losing, a coach will give you a little more leeway to get things done offensively. You start to take some risks, but this one doesn't work out in their favor. Great poke by Kapanen. Taken by Brody. Nylander's crossed the line and gained the zone. And the goaltender cut. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. For details. The Blues will start the period with a full two-minute man advantage here. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Battling for it along the boards. And let's see what the call is. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Tender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. The Leafs lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. Gets a stick on it. Lays out to get in front of that one. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Blues have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. 
St. Louis wins the draw. And he slides it quickly to Bushnevich. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Up the neutral zone now. Matthews plays the puck. Shot! And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Brody. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. The Leafs now have a short power play after the penalty expired. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Robertson. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but each and every one of them, it should be. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Toronto's got the puck here in the open ice. Wax it into the offensive zone. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Penalty coming up here. And yet another penalty is called. So out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. attack is tries to get the puck to Scandella St. Louis is across the line and on the attack gets the puck in deep and he takes the feed and now it's over to Tavares shot denies him he got all of it St. Louis with possession in their own zone to Nylander there's a hit on the play grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage into the middle of the neutral zone breakaway scores and the wrong team is having themselves a party in this bar tonight and I don't think anybody except them like it no one likes it in this building that's for sure I mean fans are leaving they made money for this ticket and if you're on the ice you just want to crawl out of there but you can't there's more game to play this is a tough one James Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. The Leafs win it. And he takes a shot. That's blocked by Hofer. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Toronto's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. Sends it over to Crew. The Blues take it along the wall. Fires it on net. Oh my goodness, it's stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Right on the doorstep. Puck grabbed by Pareko. Sods picking up steam. The Blues carried along the wall. Denies him in front. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. St. Louis wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. 
Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Here's a shot from the boards. Made the save on the play. And now he moves it quickly to Logren. Takes the pass. Wide. Hammers one. Oh, what a save with the glove by Hofer. The Leafs continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Shen's got the puck in his own zone. St. Louis is across the blue line. Here's a feed in front. And that's stopped. And both centers glide into the dot as a faceoff set to resume. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. And he moves it up to Reeves. Slides the puck ahead to Brody. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Caught into the glove by Hofer. Toronto's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Camps won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. The Blues gain possession in their own end. Goes right to the crease. Gregor's taking it from his own end. Throws it in. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Sends it quickly to Bushnevich. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot. Gets a piece of it to make the save. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. They gain the zone from the left side. Fires it. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Matthews wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. Moves it to Cairo. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Looks to set up at the point now. The one-timer scores! And they finally stop the play and answer back. Uh, it ain't over yet. Anytime you can claw your way back into a game. And there's time on the clock. There's an opportunity to answer. The pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. The Blues don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. And he coughs it up with the pass. And now it's grabbed by Saad. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Leafs cross the blue line and are on the attack. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Intercepted at center by Bertuzzi. The Leafs have it now. Quick feed to Benoit. With some open space here in the neutral zone. The Blues get a hold of the puck in the open ice. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Tries to feed it over to Kapanen. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And it's a quick pass to Krug. In close! Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Makes the save! Samsonov's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. He's the reason why his team is leading in this one and elects with a good decision to get the face off. The Leafs start with the puck in their own end. Lilgren's got the puck along the wing. Shot! Huge stop by Hofer! 
Slides it diagonally to Neighbors. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a change. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Blues will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Way to... Oh, stopped it! Scores! It's in the back of the net! Now, wait a second here. I don't think this is going to count. James Official waves it off right away. And got to wonder whether it was tipped or redirected off of the skate or whether there was a kicking motion. So two distinct things here. If you kick or make that move, the forward motion of your foot towards the net, it will be a no goal. But if it's redirected, that's fine. There's that big thing that you don't want to hurt the messenger while the official's coming out on the ice. And this is going to be a confirmed call. It's going to stand on the ice. This is a disallowed goal. The Leafs took possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Takes it up center. Quick feed down low. Loses his balance on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. Passes it to Kairou. Great defensive effort with the stick. And the play on his side gets a piece of the ball. Samsonov's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Carlin Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Carlin? Matthews has been in the middle of it offensively, and I've really liked his game. I think he's been the better player in this matchup, guys. The Leafs are on the attack. Here's a shot. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Blues have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Nice job tying up his opponent. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to Marner. Puts it on net. Denied by Hofer. Shot from the wall. Blocked in traffic. Passes the puck over to Hayes. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Quick pass to Matthews. Takes it to the net. How did he stop that one? And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Looking to set up offensively. Puck scooped up by Blay. Scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. The Blues are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, and it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Drills them. Moves it to the middle. And that shot's blocked. Tosses it on to side. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Nylander. Fires it into the offensive zone. Takes the feed. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's a shot. And he was ready for that one. Oh, they do it again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. The Blues gain control of the puck. Takes the bank pass feed. Fast and quick lead pass. Walker's on the attack in the offensive zone. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. St. Louis needs to finish on one of these scoring chances here if they hope to even things up late in this third period. The Blues win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Sacrifices the body. Gets the puck in deep. St. Louis has possession of it now. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Kapanen. Quick feed down low. 
Here's a shot. Nice save from point blank range. Quick feed to Robertson. Here's a chance. And he puts that one aside with ease. Oh, turns it aside once again. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. And mercifully down just seconds left in this one. one minute left in the third period. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Great pad save. Stuffs him again. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Samsonov. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. Samsonov's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Thomas has won the faceoff. Oh, off his club. He just got enough of it. That's a great heads up play to put on the pass. Hammers it on net. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. The Blues come up losers tonight despite the fact that they dominated in the face-offs. Yeah, the face-off number is high, so they start with the puck, which means their possession numbers are high as well, but it's where they have the puck that really matters, James. If you're on the perimeter, possession can be good, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, that'll bring it into an exciting night of hockey, and for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James, she's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.